What is going on guys? So today we are going to be exploring the historic downtown of Galena, Illinois. It is probably arguably one of the best downtowns or historic downtowns in America in more ways than one. Cool little fact, actually 85% of Galena's buildings, that includes all the downtown and all the houses up on the hills and in the neighborhoods surrounding it, are in a National Register Historic District. So they're all pretty much protected. And that's why a lot of them are still standing today. So basically what I'm gonna do today here is show you as many historic buildings as I can. There's actually a entire half mile of all these historic buildings. It goes all the way down, so now let's get going. It's an old Masonic temple. And also the original spot of the Galena National Bank. You can still see First National Bank written right down there as well as right on the top. So right up here on the corner, we have the DeSoto House. Built in 1855, and originally when it was built, it was built as the largest hotel in the West. Uh, later in 1880, the upper two floors were also removed, which is kind of interesting. So I guess it was two stories taller than that originally when it was built. And that was one of the main tourist attractions here in Galena. Surrounding area is so beautiful, a bunch of people came and they stayed in this very hotel. It was very popular. So popular, in fact, that President Abraham Lincoln himself spoke on the balcony in front. Not sure if that's the original balcony. They might have had a, a, a larger wood one that has since been removed. But yeah, and also after the Civil War, Ulysses S. Grant stayed right here in this very building. So right here, this is past the lobby inside the DeSoto house. Wow, I had no idea there's a big like open area in here. This is so cool. Restaurant doesn't look like it's open or it's just not busy. <laughs> I wonder how much of this is original. Something I noticed that's kind of cool. All of the shops on Main Street, which is right there, back up to this, and you can walk into them from the hotel. It's another shop, it's a candy shop. New Earth Animals shop. Huh, so it's like its own little shopping center. People, what are we on the third floor? Yes, people actually stand at this store. Yeah man, it's still in business. It's the oldest running hotel in Illinois. All right, we're heading back down to the second level. According to online, Ulysses S. Grant stayed in 209 and 211. So I gotta find those rooms. I think they're this way, yeah. Here we go, 211. The Abraham Lincoln room. So we stayed here and in 209, which is... That's a tribute to Teddy Roosevelt. Where's 209? Break it to you, 209. Teddy Roosevelt, Teddy right Roosevelt. here. Ulysses S. Grant, walk through this door. Crazy. Well, <laughs> he just got kicked out of the DeSoto house. Guess we're not supposed to be there unless we're staying there. So, I guess we continue. <laughs> Joke's on them, we got the footage we needed. So. <laughs> it's an old ghost ad. And then we got chew it after every meal. Probably some sort of gum. So here are the, out, the pasta place, there it is. Oh, I love the pasta. So this is, these are the shops that you can see from inside the DeSoto house. Ah, and then there it is, the beautiful Schmoll building. So this is the building that is probably my favorite on the main street. I did a little bit of research. I think it's either the JC or the JG Schmoll building. It says it right there on the top. Behind the uh, front is actually, it's a brick building and that is a galvanized metal front. The galvanized front was manufactured by the Mesker Brothers Iron Works in St. Louis, Missouri. And painted white. Freaking love the look of that. Contrasts all the other buildings here. This town is seriously impressive. Look how far down that goes. And then you turn to the left and it goes even farther. It's so massive and basically 95% of all the storefronts are occupied. I say that as we're standing in front of one that's not. Yeah, take that's... my word, I swear to God. <laughs> all right, we're about to head to the History Museum. It's right up here on the hill, apparently. And I wanna figure out what these used to be because it could have been an old street, but with that big piece, I don't know. I have a feeling it could be some sort of drainage or honestly, maybe just a walking path, I don't know. So right up here on the hill, 
we have the Galena and U.S. Grant History Museum. It's $10 admission, so I don't think I can film in there, but it's a nice Italianate uh, house. A gorgeous cornice up there, too. Oh, baby. Oh, that's a cornice. It's the best cornice <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> this is kind of like the, the sub-main street. This is a main street above the main street. Those are more apartments and yeah, this is residential for sure. Be kind of interesting to live on a hill right above the main street though. Houses are nice. Walk down the street and get some groceries. Some expensive groceries. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and one day, I'd like to live in a house just like that, old historic brick home. I don't have very lofty ambitions. <laughs> hey man. Those things are expensive to keep up and fix. Oof. We're right up here on the street still. We got the Galena Fire Department. Now this portion, this limestone building was built in 1940. And this one says it was built in 1874. I am not sure the original purpose of this one though. Because this one was built first, you can see the symmetry. And this one was kind of an add-on, an addition. Yeah, the old firehouse, still in use. Back out onto the main street, down the next strip. A little bit farther down the main street, we've got the first state and savings bank. This was built circa 1900 in the neoclassical style, and the bank actually closed during the Great Depression, and that was in the 1930s. And in 1937, it opened up as the Log Cabin Steakhouse, which is still there today, surprisingly, in business. Dowling House is up there, but that building reminds me of the Flatiron Building in New York. Built on a very tight corner. Inside one of the many antique shops here in Galena. See if you can find any cool little relics. Like a game of I've Spy in here. Yeah. Yeah, well, this looks like it's the end of the main street here. Yeah, the commercial. Up a little Italian. Uh, the whole commercial district kind of right ends there. here. Goes straight to residential. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think we're done with the main street. I'm gonna go up on the hill and we're gonna see if we can find any uh, nice looking uh, historic homes. Yo, what the heck? Guys, there's a real deer in the bushes right here. What are you doing, bud? Holy crap. Huh. Got another awesome limestone structure here. First Presbyterian Church erected in 1838. Now that is impressive. Right up on a hill in Galena, Illinois is the former home of Ulysses S. Grant. Actually lived here right in this building. This is the front view of the house, built in 1860. And I believe it was actually a gift to Grant and his family. <laughs> right down the road from Grant's house. This looks like an, I don't know if they move these buildings here because they do look small enough to move. Like we got the Krausen house over here, circa 1836. Got the old general store, it has no date on that. But yeah, this very well could have been a an old, uh, another not, another main street. That's not a real person, look at that. Donegan house, circa 1850. So if you recall, we were just at the Galena and U.S. Grant Museum, and it looks like they are moving up on the hill into this place in 2021. So if you're watching this video in 2021, come on down and check it out. <laughs> Those Italians know how to build. With a couple up there. Well guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up this episode of Main Streets of America, Galena, Illinois. Guys, if you like what you saw, consider subscribing. If you wanna see more, drop a like, show your support. And uh, let me know what I did that you liked, that I didn't like, so I can improve the series. 
Thanks again, guys. Peace out.